Hi, and this uh, visual based database created earlier. I've just finished baking this because it was requested by, by someone online. And that's it right here. So what I will do next is just to kind of like take you straight into Visual Basic and just show you how this is made. But in the first place, what I did was create a database. So we will have to create a database in Access and uh, we take it from there. Okay, so let's go into database now. Okay, now now have my Access open. The next now do is uh, click on. Uh, blank and that is it right there then uh, go to where it says view right here select that and go to design view once the design view is ready if you want you can give that a name I'm just gonna leave it as a uh, table one so what I'll do next is just enter my data in there I will leave the ID as my primary key I don't have to do anything about that and I uh, know now enter as follows right in here I'll just say data type I'm going to select long long text and here I just call that uh, storage and right here I will call that range there so I'll now speed this up and just let you guys see what I've, how it looks like. Okay, once this is done, the next thing you do then is say uh, you go straight into the view. Save that where you now enter the data that you want to enter in there. So let me show you how it's done now. And right here, guys, that's how the database look right now. So I'll close that, open up my Visual Basic where I will then call this very or importing this very database now I have my form open the next thing is uh, let me just sort of like define the form size I'll say about that is fine then uh, you go straight into the menu where it says data select that add new data source once you've selected new data source make sure you select database once the database is selected this dialog box pops up click on new connection once you connect to it, click on browse. Make sure you know wherever your database is. Mine is on my desktop. So I'll scroll right down. That's my database right there. Click on OK. So admin, do I want any password and so on? The default is admin. I'm just going to delete that. I don't want anything in there. Just click on save and click on uh, OK. You can always test it out you can just click on test connection and see you can see test connection is successful click on ok or succeed you can always try the advance as well that's it right there so I'm just going to click on ok that's it the next thing you do is click on next and here you you've been asked the following question would you like the database to be uh, imported straight into your application or into your project if you click on yes the database will put into your application if you click on no you know what that means the database will not be imported so I click on yes and then click on next that is it right there if you drop this down you see the plus sign drop it down drop your table down that's my table right there so I have my ID there I don't have to select it well, I'll just select it for now the ID is just one, two, three. Click on finish. Now, the database is on board, so that's it right there. If you don't see it there, you can always come here and just say view, or you can just say show data source, and that is the data source right there. Then click, drag, and drop it on your form. There, that's it right there. All you then need to do is adjust it. So whatever size you want you can click on this little triangle there and uh, whatever you want to do get it sorted if you want to add query if you want to preview data whatever you want to do you can do right there and that's it that's how you create your own database so the next thing I'll do is just click on run 
and that is it guys that's how you create your own database let's adjust it to how you want now let's close it and readjust it properly okay move it aside one good thing about this is you can always add more data into it and uh, you already have your default save for and um, save uh, object there whatever data you enter you can always save it right away and that's how you create your own database with that i'm just gonna call it bye for now i suppose you enjoy it and you have a nice day now